Am I the a-hole for being angry at my stepmom? For context, I'm a 17-year-old and my stepsister, who I called Sarah, is 12. My stepmom, who I called Charlotte, is 34 and my dad, John, is 42. My dad married Charlotte two years ago after dating for a little over a year. They met at my dad's work and I was happy for my dad because he was finally healing and moving after my mom. My mom passed when I was two to health complications and it took him a long time to finally look for love again. However, Charlotte, for the first three years of them being together, treated me like a total stranger and no that's not just me exaggerating things in my head because I was angry at the situation I didn't know my mom so I was welcoming the idea of having a mother figure in my life but Charlotte made it very clear that she did not want me as her daughter and she was there for my dad only but not only that but her thinking made its way to Sarah slowly over time she started being colder and colder to me until she would barely even look at me at events at their wedding Sarah was the bridesmaid. I sat in the crowd. This was Charlotte's idea because she wanted all of her bridesmaids to have blonde hair and I'm brunette so I didn't fit her aesthetic. When introducing me to the, her family, Charlotte called me John's kid and never referred me as her stepdaughter. When I was away at my friend's house last year, they got family photos taken. Just my dad, Charlotte, Sarah, and Sarah's dogs. They literally valued the fucking dog more than me. But I finally snapped last week when my dad asked me to go to dinner with just him and Charlotte. It was a semi-fancy restaurant but Charlotte proceeded to get drunk and spew nonsense about how my dad got a huge upgrade from my mom with her. I stood up and said very calmly, I hope my existence serves as a constant reminder that my dad has loved someone more than he loves you now and you'll never live up to it. Now my dad is super mad at me and Charlotte is hysterics and Charlotte is in hysterics 24-7. Yesterday she called me awful and I promptly flipped her up. Am I being too harsh? Dad's not innocent in this either though. To allow your child to be treated like that by someone he brought into the home. He needs to do better and opt don't let this slide. His wife Dietti had to go back and double check to make sure after I read about stepmom's comments. What an awful person. NTA. Stepmom definitely is. I think the dad is an asshole here. Single parents who want to remarry have a duty to vet potential spouses as suitable parents. They absolutely need to ensure this person will love the children as their own, and Op's dad failed to do that. I have two daughters from the first go-around. When I married the second time I gained a son and another daughter. I am so very thankful that it went well and we are all loving and family. But it takes effort, respect, and tolerance. This step is just off the charts. NTA but your dad and stepmom definitely are I'm sorry you're going through this, it really sounds awful. Have you tried talking to your dad about everything that has been going on BTW I hope my existence serves as a constant reminder that my dad has loved someone more than he loves you now and you'll never live up to it. This response is everything. It was truly beautiful and Charlotte is an epic gash in dire need of medication, psychiatry, and humility decency. The wedding was absolutely vile, not having you in the bridal party due to your hair color, I've never heard of such shit. NTA. Where was dad's balls when all this was going on? His own daughter left out of a photo, his own doctor told Sid in the crowd I only want blonde bridesmaids. Why did he not put his foot down with her about the insult to your mom as a dad with a daughter? If anything happened to my wife no woman would ever disrespect my daughter like that, sorry reading this just really pissed me off. Seriously, the stepmom is awful, but reading this I also was thinking, how dare Op's father marry this woman, seeing how she treats his own child. Once you have a child, they are your priority. If you are dating someone who isn't going to make your child a priority too, then you sure as hell don't marry them. I'm a divorced and recently remarried dad of three kids, well, five now. I can't image treating my stepkids like this or marrying someone who treated mine like this. My wife and I have even had conversations when one of our kids talks about how one of their friend's step-parents treat their That's why he's mad. He probably knows that the first wife is better than the second. 
Now his second knows it too, and he's got to hear about it and try to reassure her that it isn't true, even though it is. Dot, I'd imagine that this is an ongoing insecurity of the step monster, and now it'll be even worse for him. But he deserves it. I can't believe your dad let them treat you like this. He's just as culpable if not worse than Charlotte and Sarah. He stood on that altar and said I do to a woman who excluded you because of your hair color. Most of your anger seems directed at Charlotte and it's well deserved, but your dad needs some of that same smoke because you're his child and he married someone who openly abuses you and let them do that unchecked. Oh I can. I wasn't invited to my dad's wedding to Stepmonster, okay, situation is different, because my mum hadn't died, they divorced, and let's face it, the hair color was an excuse, op was never going to be included, because this woman didn't want a reminder of his previous love.my advice to op is go low to no contact, because if your dad isn't going to grow a spine there is absolutely no reason for you to put up with being treated badly. NTA, that's horrible. I'm a stepchild myself and my stepdad never treated me like that, nor did my mom ever choose her partner over her child, which it seems as though your dad is doing, by allowing this to happen. I've read somewhere wherein statistically, a male parent who has a child from a previous marriage are more likely to allow their new partner to treat their own child as second class to appease them, and if their new partner has kids of their own, they will treat their new partner's kids better to retain their spouse. Take it with a grain of salt though because I can't find my source info. I'm intrigued at why they took you out for dinner, was it a graduation thing or another celebration I'm just suspicious why stepsister wasn't there were they going to drop a nasty bomb on you and the drunken outburst got in the way.